I'm dead inside. Wow. We have a second round of patient exams today. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe it's snowing. It's actually snowing. I look so bad. The worst part is, I actually tried to get ready today to film an intro for a video. Makeup is so annoying. Sometimes, I walk over to the camera and I turn it on because it's been a while. Is the camera, is the mic on? It is on. So sometimes I'll walk over, turn on the camera because I feel like it's been a while and I want to talk, but I don't know what to talk about. So I end up turning it back off and it m just might never make it out into the world. On the bright side, my plants are sort of, oh, this one's like dying. I need to remember to water these. I'm a bad plant mom. But weirdly, they said this one doesn't need to be watered that much, but I think it does. This is, that was a lie. I'm gonna fertilize it with the dead leaves. so I can get the free coffee at school and have a little bit of whip. Today marks about two and a half weeks before school ends and I am terrified but excited. I'm wearing jeans for the first time in a long time. I'm so constricted. I know I'm wearing my shirt backwards, but I woke up at like four. I don't know why I woke up that early, 
but yesterday I woke up around 5, today around 4. I am losing it. That's all for today. Oh. I don't really know if I'll keep this in because this sucks. So two days ago, I woke up and I was like, no, three days ago, three days ago, I woke up at five. Two days ago, I woke up at four. Yesterday, I woke up at 2.30. Today, I woke up at three. So I don't know what's going on, but it's messing me up really bad. And I'm smiling to make myself try to feel better, but it's not a good time right now. So that's that. I'm not one to like do this though. Usually I can sleep until the alarm at least, but I feel really off. I know it's the sleep causing this, but I can't do anything. I really don't know what to do. I took Dramamine last night. It made me really drowsy, which I did not want. I mean, I guess I kind of wanted it, but I'm just so out of it. I hope it goes away soon. I made chicken noodle soup yesterday and I had a little, but I couldn't have a good amount. I don't know, nothing tastes good right now. I'm sick of pasta, sick of rice. I know there's like, there's definitely people that want to see stuff like this and then there's others that are like Ugh, but whatever i'm gonna put it in anyways if i feel like it okay I'm gonna go to school now take my test and come back home maybe try to sleep i don't know eat i'm scared to eat because i don't wanna in class <laughs> this is a mess okay bye i feel a lot better I don't know what happened this week, but after the exam today, I feel so much better. I'm not like 100, but this is the best I felt all week. Someone sent me um, a package for two people. I don't know what it is. Mm. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, so cute. Thank you. It's from Aubrey. Thanks, Aubrey. It's a little stitch too. This is so pretty. Beaded jewelries are so in. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. This one matches my outfit today. Wow, thanks, Avery. These are so nice. They're so cute. I actually don't have any pink earrings, so this is nice. I love it so much. This is so pretty. Why is it so nice? How? Today, we are adulting by getting a oil change done. It's my banana. I feel a little bit better today. Not 100, but better. So there's a plus. And I'm gonna ask them to please pump my tires. I did it. I got my first oil exchange. Oh. <gasps> And I think I need to go to like a Target or something because I want to, I want to get electrolytes or something because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm dehydrated. Like inside, I'm pretty sure I'm acidotic right now. There's like, there's just acid in me. So I need something to balance it and get me back to normal, hopefully. Because right now this is not it. Bada bing. Bada boom. Do you guys know? What is this? I am a mess. We're just gonna talk really quick. Okay, the mic is on, good. Let me just preface. It's been a roller coaster. I've never felt like this before. For the past five days, I've been waking up and I'm so nauseous. And I'm talking like I wake up at like two and then I maybe wake up at three or four or five until I decide that I can't handle this anymore and I just wake up. Actually, I should eat first. I have oatmeal right now. I'm on a 
restricted diet. I gave that to myself because I cannot handle this life anymore. So after the first three nights of waking up at like two, I was like, something's not right. So I emailed my doctor, told her like everything I was feeling, feeling nauseous, can't like function, low appetite, um, can't sleep. And sometimes I get like this numbing sensation or like tingling, which is that might be like anxiety. So she thinks it's stress that led to acid reflux, which is why I cannot lay down or I can lay down, but like two hours later, I will wake up because it's like, you know, I haven't thrown up yet, but let's just say I am dead inside. I do feel slightly better today, but every morning is like the worst feeling ever. So I don't know if you can tell, but I tried sleeping with like the pillows, like elevated, two pillows, and I still woke up at like two last night. My tactic is I will open like half of one eye and go to the bathroom so that I still stay sleepy enough to attempt to sleep another round. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, yeah, I haven't had a full nights of I haven't slept through past 5 a.m. since like a week. So that's my state. In that time frame, I've taken three exams and all three of them, I felt like I was losing it. <sighs> so the first exam, I was like so woozy. I could, not, I could barely move in my chair. I was holding myself all together. Well, all three exams, I'm just holding myself together. And I'm trying to look at the screen, but honestly, it's like, it's not double vision, but I get really lightheaded. I don't know if it's cause it's a test and I'm surrounded by people and that I'm anxious, but it's also probably a lack of sleep cause it's like, whoa, that's all I can say. It's like, I cannot. So for all three exams, I did try my best, but I couldn't be as thorough as I wanted, but I have, I did okay. like did not fail. The first exam I was like, I thought I was gonna fail the test, but I didn't. I did a lot better than I thought, so that is nice. But now I got three more finals and I'm trying to pull myself together. So I booked myself a doctor's appointment, a virtual one for this morning. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if anyone has acid reflux, but I have like a whole pharmacy out here. I've been trying to fix myself and I know I shouldn't like do everything at once, so it's like taking it a day at a time. But let me just tell you, I tried Dramamine the first night. Or not, the second night. I tried Pepto like one of the first few days. I tried Tums on the third day. And then I realized maybe my Pepto's expired. So I bought generic Pepto. And I also bought ginger ale, which I can barely drink because it's so sweet. And I feel like it's way too acidic and I shouldn't be drinking that anyway. So I think I'm gonna give it to a friend. And I brought probiotics. And I also got, I got omeprazole, which is like an acid reducer. And I, yesterday, after my third test, I got acidil. <laughs> okay, everyone's gonna watch this and think I'm crazy. This one actually, I think it works pretty well. It's homeopathic also. So it's plant-based, it's like sublingual, so you just melt it under your tongue. It's not too bad. Still does not give me like a full night's rest of sleep, but maybe I should try taking it right before bed. And yeah, I got a few other meds cause I'm just building a pharmacy in my room and trying to find an answer. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna figure this out because we can't, we just can't go on like this. Guess what I got in the mail? Um, okay, 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 okay. My hair looks like a mess. Okay. Dun dun dun. <gasps> oh my gosh. It smells like apple. Wow, it's, wow, different. Wow. Wow, wow, 
This is weird. It's like strange. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know it felt like this. It's different. I haven't talked to the camera in a while because I've been half dead, which you might already see from a previous clip, but now I'm getting better. I can eat now. Hmm. She said, I think you have acid reflux from stress or maybe it's like a bug. Cause usually if I get food poisoning, I, it all comes out like the next morning, but this time it was like slow and steady death. So I don't really know what it was, but now I'm slightly scared to eat, but I'm still eating. I'm so hungry. I wake up at six or I'll eat half a banana and then I'll eat oatmeal. And now I'm eating some banana bread. Mm. Why did I think this was okay? So I have this. my first full day of not having school. It is my first day of break. I don't know how to function. I've been watching House since last night as my way of studying. Start with. And I even listened to a PA podcast last night because I might, I just might be losing it because I'm not studying. I don't think I've ever had this feeling before of needing to study right when break started. Usually I like settled back in pretty quickly, but today I am fixing this because I am not about this medium brown life on my roots. So we're gonna fix that by going to Sally's and Target. It doesn't match me for some reason. It bothers me every time I look in the mirror, so I need to fix it. But the hairstylist did great. It's just, I don't think it matches me, which is sad. What can I do here? Anyways, losing my mind because I'm not studying. So finding a way for me to study through house and listening to medical podcasts. Okay, here we go. Today I will fix my hair. Tomorrow I will maybe go to Canada. I don't know, road trip kind of sounds fun. I haven't driven like a far distance in a while. What is this cart doing? They're like in the middle of the road. 